Hello everyone, this is our next privacy interview session and today we have very special guest from Belgium. Professor Dr. Patrick van Ecke is a partner in DLA Piper's Brussels office with over 25 years of experience in privacy and data protection. Patrick is leading on some of the most important and complex data protection related cases, including worldwide data breaches and GDPR compliance programs. He is often asked for his view by international press like New York Times, Wall Street Journal and Financial Times. Patrick, thank you very much for visiting us in Zurich and sharing your experience with us. My first question is about DLA Piper's data breach report, which is released last week. According to this report, we see increasing GDPR fines have been issued. What sits behind those numbers? What we are going to see in the near future? Thank you for that question. We indeed see that since May 2018, which was the moment that the GDPR actually entered and, and into force and became of application, we noticed that data protection authorities, they needed first a year, I would say 2018, 2019, they first needed a year to adapt themselves and to build up their own practice and to start working with how can we sanction companies because it was also new to them. And so the first report we uh, issued last year didn't contain too many fines already identified, but this year we do notice there is an increase and certainly in the future we see more and more fines actually are being prepared by organizations. Uh, well, actually, to, just to talk in numbers, we do see that throughout the European Union, until now, 200 sanctions have been issued. And this could be anything. It could be a reprimand, it could be a fine. Of those 200 sanctions, we see it's already above 100 fines have been issued to different companies, organizations that uh, were believed not to act in compliance with GDPR. The biggest fine, though, um, is 50 million that had been issued to Google in, the, in, in France by the French data protection authority, the CNIL. But uh, we hear rumors that a few other data protection authorities are also going into that kind of numbers when we are talking about fines. So, yeah, I do think we need to keep our eyes open in the future. Thank you very much for your insights and view. And today you are talking about data protection practice in telecommunication marketing. And as we know, there are many marketing and advertising agencies or other type of companies in Switzerland that are targeting or profiling data subjects in the European Union. What would you like to advise to those companies in order to be compliant with GDPR and the e-privacy directive of European Union? But marketing, for sure, it's a very good thing. And the more you know about a consumer or a potential customer, the, the, the better you will be able to serve an advertisement. And we see that technology nowadays is able to get to know much more about end users, about consumers. However, in Europe, as in many other parts in the world as well, this is heavily regulated. And, and in Europe, for example, it's regulated by, I would say, two pieces of legislation that quite often apply together jointly. On the one hand, it's the famous or infamous sometimes called GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation. But next to that, you've got the e-privacy legislation, also quite often called the cookie legislation or the spam legislation. And you could say, well, it's only applicable to companies based on European territory, but that's not true. The moment, even if you're outside of the European Union, but the moment you're starting to collect data of people living in Europe, the moment you're starting to market those people by sending them communications via electronic mail or in-app advertising, you will have to apply the rules of the GDPR and e-privacy legislation. Now the problem with the e-privacy legislation is that it's currently under review and so everybody's now looking into what is the future going to bring. Is it going to become more flexible or is it going to be more stringent? We don't know yet how it's going to look like. It was our pleasure to host you in Zurich and looking forward to seeing you again in Brussels in March 2020. Thank you very much for watching us. Please stay tuned.